Hello guys and welcome again to yet another video. Yesterday I had a meeting with one of my customers, Jopek Marine, um, an oil and gas company, and they wanted me to manufacture um, a very big, long cupboard with sliding drawers. And at the same time, they also wanted me to make a center table for them with a, a sofa set, which will go with it a small coffee stand and to install a kitchen where they can have their employees to be able to make some tea or store some food and be able to use the sink to wash a few things in the office. So um, what I'm going to try to do now, I'm going to try and come up with a, a drawing uh, to have a visual kind of uh, um, uh, representation of what I will be making in order to meet the specification. I think the cupboard is supposed to be uh, about 4 meters, just say it's actually 3 meters 90 centimeters long. Um, and so what I'll do is, if I do this 3 meters 90 long, it will be too long, just just too long for, for, um, for us to transport to the office. And if I do that, then it, it's going to have 4 doors and then it will become difficult for the doors to slide across. I will, I will need to have four rails, uh, um, traps for the doors to slide on. It will just be just too, too big to come as something to move around. So what I will do is this. I will actually um, design this into two pieces. I will make one side to be nearly two meters. So it will be something like that, um, like this. So this will be about nearly two meters long. And then I will equally represent the other half to look something like that like that so it goes there so as you can see now i have a nice representation of the cupboard split into two um 195 on this side 195 on that side and so this two doors will actually slide and overlap so this is just an exact copy of what is going to be on that side um, I'm quite excited with this. It's a loving, uh, it's a very really lovely project. I'm looking forward to working on it and um, let's get started. After we had cut all the wood in dimensions and sanded the areas where we're going to apply the formica, we then applied formica in the inner parts of the skeleton and we screwed them all together to ensure that um, they are seamlessly bind it together and then we applied um, some gum on the outside. We tend to use plastic um, material so that um, we can get it spread out easily and nicely before applying the formica and as we apply the formica we rub it down immediately to ensure that there's no bubble anywhere and we try to do it in an orderly manner using a small stick under the formica to suspend it so that it doesn't stick before we actually want to stick it. So right now, after we've finished, we use um, some uh, piece of wood with material around it. We rub all over the formica so it sticks properly. And then we use a router to trim the edges just so that it will be smooth and will um, take away all excess formica on the edges. guys and welcome to the factory part of this cupboard production. As you already know we're producing a cupboard that is about four meters long roughly and I chose to do this in two sections so it's easier for transportation, easier to move around and also very easier to handle. Considering the fact that my clients don't own the building they might be moving to another location so making it in two parts will make it much easier for them to move about plus it makes it stronger easier to handle and more durable. So right here we have the first part of the cupboard done and we've done the bottom part here with rails. As you can see here, I have this beautiful silver rails 
here we're going to put some grease on it so when we mount the sliding doors they will glide from one side to the other side with ease these very rails here we have the same thing on the top part to facilitate or make the movement of the doors very very easy i've used here very very durable and um, very very resistant for my car which gives it a very professional and pro like finishing very mature it's not it's not very shiny it's more of on the matte side than on the glossy side so over here we're going to put for my car at some point today after we've kind of sanded this one down nicely fill the holes here as you can see we have screws we're holding it down with screws so that there'll be no gap between the two pieces of wood that we've put together we're going to start first of all doing the one on the top and then we'll do the one on the side now sometimes you need a little bit of technique to make your work stand out the finishing part of it without showing too much screws or too much joints in this project we have tried to hide as many screws as possible so if you look on this side you will see we have one two three pieces of wood that we put are put together so we first of all instead of having the formica put on this piece of wood and that piece of wood separately we join all and then at the end we can unfold the laminate from the bottom all the way to the top so you have a continuous laminate going all the way to the top that way making it a much better cleaner finishing and more professional look as i may like to call it i'll come back when we've gone somewhere uh, and made some progress with the project again i'll be back Okay guys, as you can see, we've now created a groove. You can come closer. You see we have made a beautiful groove here with the router, which is gonna permit us to install this runner that will be going at the top. So one thing I like about these runners is the fact that when you mount them, you can slide it up and down to gauge the head of the runner so it fits at the top to hook this over here like we've done with this one. So this one, it's now gliding across, not very smooth here, I'll just take this out a minute and get the wheels or the lines that we've created, I will need to expand up or sand it down a little bit so it's smooth sliding. There is nothing more beautiful than a smooth sliding door or door. So this bit here is going to go at the top, just like I showed you earlier, and this door is going to be going behind this one so you can have two doors that slide and overlap in the middle. And over here, over here we have two doors already set up. Two doors already set up nicely as you can see, it's sliding and overlapping. So you can go and overlap, go that way and come back, go this way and come back. All we have to do now is take these doors out now, apply some gum on here and then put formica and then polish it up, clean it, put some facial bands on these ones and then we're going to mount the base that will be holding this cupboard up to stop it from getting dirty or from picking up water on the floor or anything. Because we made this with plywood, we can't allow it to stand on the floor because people are going to mop the floor and there's always water around and plywood doesn't do very well when there's wet water. So what I'll be doing is I'll be putting some nice designs made with red hardwood and treated on the floor so these bees or this baby can rest on top of it. I'll be back. I'm going to show you so far the progress we've made with the cupboards that we were making for our customer, Glowtech, the marine company. And right here, you see we have a nearly two meters long cupboard. Now, this cupboard is exactly 195 centimeters long across. It's 40 centimeters deep, meaning it's not gonna take up too much space in your office. And the beauty about this cupboard is the fact that it has no handles because we have installed here beautiful sliding doors. So all you gotta do is put your hand on the face, get a little bit of opening space, put your hand there and you take it that way or the other way as you see fit. You would notice that we have made 
just two shelves in each section because we want to uh, maximize the capacity and as to the kind of things that can be stored in this cupboard. On this side here, we have another copy of the same cupboard, just so that we can um, have them put together in the same place and have it um, in the same profile since the customer wanted a four meters long cupboard we thought of doing it in two pieces because doing it in two pieces would definitely mean that handling and moving it around would be much more better so cupboards like these are things that we do very often we do them with handles we do them with drawers we do them with doors we do them depending on what the customer wants all you got to do is contact us Click on the subscribe number below if you think that the work we're doing in Cameroon trying to change the narratives about uh, what people are saying about made in Cameroon, we are doing our utmost best to ensure that products made in this country are of particular quality, standard and above all, the finishing is our core objective. My customer, Glowtech International, the marine company also asked for um, a center table made to some kind of match with the cupboard. Right here, you can see we have the center table made, and we decided to make the face a little bit white so that it will blend in nicely with the chocolate nature of the formica. And we made it so appealing, so aesthetically pleasing, so so nice, so that. People coming there will some sort of admire and appreciate the furniture they have in the office. I think this is going to go perfectly with the sofa that we, did, we, we delivered to them a, a little while ago, the reception sofa, because the reception in itself is chocolate just like these. The dimension of this centre table is 90 by 60 and we decided to make it just 40 centimetres high because you don't want it too high taking up taking up all the space around or we made it just to be a little bit lower than the sofa so that way it will stand out and it will also make the sofa stand out now do you require any furniture for your home or for your office if the answer to this question is yes and the second question is is it to be delivered in Cameroon and if your answer is yes then contact us Subscribe below, please. Drop us a comment. Send an email to us or WhatsApp message um, on the number which is on screen now. And one of our customer service uh, um, agents will contact you, will get dimensions, will visit your property or your location, will take measurements, will produce a 2D kind of design, and then will take it from there to producing the product that you will appreciate. <laughs>
is a nicely fitted kitchen. So if you come with me, I'll show you. Over here we have this beautiful fitted kitchen which we made for them so the employees here using this facility can be able to make a cup of tea, can be able to use to wash some cups, some plates, get some water and do anything they want to do, making their work style and their well-being a little bit up to standard. So this fitted kitchen here has this space which you can see made with this um, designed for my car, giving it some marble look-alike kind of feeling. It's not marble, but it looks like marble. And so we try to give people things that will somehow give them more value to what they're actually paying for. So we have four doors here, which when you open, you'll see that it gives you very good space, where you can store some plates, some cups, some food, and on this side, you can see we have two other doors where you can store water, more storage area, keeping it very clean, very tidy, very organized. And over here, it was very difficult to get this section going easily because this corner, I don't know if you can notice, is kind of really oblong shape. It goes like a V at the end. So it took us a little while to get this stencil out to match, make this top surface, surface down here to fit neatly and seamlessly as you can see. So we have a very happy client who provided a very happy product. We are happy. If you need any furniture, you want anything made, whether it's metal, in wood, here in Cameroon, we can promise you that we will deliver in time with quality and we thank you for subscribing down here so that you and I can change narratives about Africa not being able to produce furniture that is up to standard. Peace and out.